Hey everyone, it's Angela here and I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do just in a few minutes, I'm going to talk about how Chicagoland area and other parts of Illinois, they are voting for their own demise and I'm going to use just this one post here from Marianne Ahern of NBC Chicago, their political reporter. She reports here. She was looking at the Chicago City Council warning to the mayor saying that with the majority already saying no to the $300 million property tax hike, Chicago's mayor, which is Brandon Johnson, says sometimes we do things to get people's attention, but also adds not laying people off. Okay. I'm going to analyze that first statement he made here. Sometimes we do things to get people's attention. And what he's saying is that sometimes we have to make Chicago taxpayers suffer because we need to get the attention of either J.B. Pritzker of the state, the governor, or Joe Biden, the president. We need either the state or the feds to bail us out of this mess that we got ourselves into. What was the very first thing that they have done in Chicago that they have been forced now to make their residents in Illinois to make them suffer? Anyone know? I don't know. Talk, let's talk about, let's just throw in there one concept. Let's talk about making Chicago a sanctuary city. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, we don't like President Trump. So, you know, we're going to talk bad about him. It's like, he doesn't want these illegals here, but we're going to open up our city without talking to any of the people. Because I want to know which Chicago land citizen has voted to take in the migrants. Just so without having a plan on how to pay for them. I don't know. That's something you have to talk to your leaders about. I don't have the answer because I'll tell you one thing is that in places like Illinois and Chicago, because you elected these people in office, they think that they're a lot smarter than you and more sophisticated, that they can act without even having to talk to you. To me, see, I'm not like that. I'm grown. Grown people if you're gonna have to foot the bill for something, hey, you better communicate that with me. Don't go off your emotions and say, let's bring them all here because we're defying president, you know, Trump. But look at the trouble they got you in. Yeah, so they're not gonna lay people off at in the, in the government, in the mayor's office or anything. No, at City Hall, no, they're gonna keep working, you know. And if you just cut some fat off of the budget, what I mean is wasteful spending, you could ask them for the receipts. Say, go ahead, make a public request on their budget and find out, you know, there's some stuff um, on that budget that is not disclosed. Why are they spending like drunken Marxists? And they're doing everything they want to do that is... It seems good nature to do, but at the end of the day, someone's got to pay for all of their decisions. Now, let me tell you, are you going to stop voting by your emotions just because someone says something that somewhat offends you? You know? I mean, y'all need to stop being so triggered by your emotions and get to them brains working. Because... In the next video, I will talk about why I left Illinois. I'm just, I just got to me, and I'm gonna be very blunt. I am a person of color. I am Latina, whatever you call that. I will say that the ignorance is too concentrated in, in the Chicagoland area that there's no way you can dilute that. And this is coming from someone who was born and raised there. Okay? I was born and raised there. I loved it there. I, I'm, I'm pissed off that I had to leave. But I had no choice. But let me know what you're thinking. It's time for you to start thinking, alright? Talk soon. Bye.